US Vice President Kamala Harris will today make one of the biggest speeches of her political career as she closes out the Democratic National Convention. Joining me live is former Chief of Staff to Nancy Pelosi, John Lawrence. John, thanks for your time this morning. First of all, the Bidens and Nancy Pelosi, they've been long-time friends and reports are that they're no longer on speaking terms after Nancy Pelosi was one of the key instigators in Joe Biden stepping out of the race. She did thank Joe Biden at the DNC. We are seeing this display of joy and unity, but are there a lot of tensions behind the scenes among Democrats? I don't really think so. I think this was a very uh, difficult transition, uh, an abrupt transition, uh, certainly for the president. Um, I think that Mrs. Pelosi was communicating the concerns of her members in the House of Representatives uh, and many other Democrats. Uh, that uh, the president was not up to this race and that it, it was important to preserve his legacy and the great achievements of his administration by stepping aside. And what we've seen is that his poll numbers have gone up. Uh, Vice President Harris's poll numbers have gone up. She's now leading former President Trump. So I think that uh, over time, uh, whatever hard feelings there are will, will dissipate, uh, particularly if there's a successful election for Democrats in November. It's the vice president's big moment tonight. What does Kamala Harris need to say to voters? What will resonate the most? And what are you expecting her to say? I think that she her, her job is partly to introduce herself. And this is true of every uh, nominee for president. Uh, certainly it was the case with President Obama. It was the case with uh, President Clinton. When you come to the first convention as the presidential nominee, it's your opportunity to make that proverbial first impression. I think she wants to send a message of competence, of experience, of uh, reaching out not only to Democrats, but reaching out to disaffected Republicans. And there are a large number of them who have spoken and more who will speak at this convention. And I think she wants to set a clear contrast between herself and the policies of the Democratic Party, such as income uh, equity, uh, health care, uh, right to abortion, uh, climate change, uh, with the negative campaign that President Trump has been running and, and really cast him as the an extremist who should not be trusted with uh, the governance of the United States for another four years. That's her mission uh, for tonight. Uh, as she goes forward, she will offer more specifics, obviously, uh, in each of those areas, and there will be an, a debate coming up in the next few weeks. But tonight, it's to introduce herself and to draw that distinct contrast with former President Trump. John, just quickly, because we're running out of time, you mentioned the negative campaign by Donald Trump. He's been focusing his attacks on Kamala Harris's immigration record. How much of a sore point is that for Kamala Harris, do you think? Well, it's certainly going to be the one that, that the Trump administration, uh, the Trump campaign is going to focus on. They have a big problem with that, however, and that is that immigration was a problem under his administration. It was not solved. And there was a bipartisan negotiated uh, immigration reform bill that was negotiated by one of the most conservative Republicans in the Senate and was going to pass and President Biden was going to sign. And instead, uh, President Trump intervened and the, the deal was killed. Subsequent to that time, President Biden used his executive authority and undocumented crossings of the border have been cut by half. So, yes, it's going to be a, a charge that's made, but there's a very strong refutation that Vice President Harris has. And I don't think she's going to concede the immigration point to former President Trump at all.